code violation, delay of game. Warning to Mr. McEnroe. Two, and of course, with uh, John McEnroe's layoff of seven months, his computer ranking now just number seven, but uh, he's determined to move it back up. Fine pass from Nature, and McEnroe evidently thought the serve was long. No, he thought it was a thought it was a let, Tim. Oh, a let. Yes, you can see him discussing that with the net judge. Why don't you just admit when you make mistakes sometimes? I would if I make them. Don't answer me back like that. Okay? Huh. That's pretty good. John wants to do all the talk, and he said, don't answer me back. I like that one. Yeah, I'll do the talk, and I'll call you anything I want. like that. That was off the second serve, but take a look 13, at 14. the return of serve. A good second serve by Mac. Good and deep. Bingo. Chance for John to get back on serve. Good serve from it here. And John thinks 13, that serve was 14. wide. I think he thought it was long. Or maybe he realizes that uh, he thought it was going long and then it wasn't. Now he's talking in the direction. The line, he won't overrule. You can see from there I hit that ball, I was six inches, three to six inches outside the line. And what about that serve? What? Just play? He's telling me to play? Okay. McEnroe oh, talking, oh, talking to one. There's a code violation over 30 seconds. He's arguing with the supervisor who is in the wings over there the rule book clearly states that the umpire should never make an overrule on a ball that is on approach shot he can do that off either side he doesn't have to chip it he can drive it McEnroe for another break point. Uh, this was a super shot from McEnroe. Just look at his racket work now. He moves in like he's going to play an approach shot. And then... Look at that disguise. Meanwhile, McEnroe, uh, back on court, has started his dialogue going with the umpire. Keep up the good work. You got a lot of guts. Make all that. Usually it takes about a set or two, but this time you managed to do it in a game and a half. I want to hear it. That's brilliant. You know that? You're going to hear a lot of it. Let me tell you. You're going to hear more and more of it. There's nothing you're going to do about it. Well, that was uh, a taste of McEnroe's uh, early uh, mood here, uh, being down a three love, uh, clearly unhappy uh, with his play and uh, the work of Jerry Armstrong. He's also down a love 30 in this game. Big turnaround. Ace. First of the match. Reminds me a little bit of uh, my final here in 74 when I played this young kid uh, that nobody ever heard of called Bjorn Borg. I was down four love in five minutes. Consecutive aces by Machir. He hasn't had any in the tournament thus far through the first two matches. Nails two in a row against McEnroe. And McEnroe didn't even try for that one. He just conceded the third one in a row. And it is five love. Milos Lime. Zivojinovic, yes. you got it. Fifth set. Uh, McEnroe somehow has got to get the spark going again. Got it. That's close. 
Tony, that's the first real aggressive point that we've seen McEnroe play. Here's another look at it. See, John on the attack really, really hit that forehand hard. This one was very close. Problem playing your best tennis. One of the great things about Mechere is he uses the entire tennis court. 30-15. Here's the touch and the drop. And now before Macro can recover as quick as John is, bingo, cross court, 30-15. Oh. Why? Oh. Great tough shot from McEnroe again. Very similar to what we saw earlier on the run. And terrific court coverage by both players. Here's a drop shot, and I made sure a pretty big fella gets to that ball pretty comfortably and just misses it down the line. After you hit the ball, it was completely on balance. Oh, that's a great shot. Right in the line. Back and roll, not otherwise. I thought that might have been out myself. Goddamn conspiracy! It's a conspiracy. On that approach shot, Mechir acted like he was going to make another drop shot here, and then he just goes deep. See, John has started the other way. He thought that ball was wide. Certainly not happy about it. Now he's making Mechir wait. He might get a time warning. He might. Which would be a point, wouldn't it? Yep. Slav Mejir holding serve with a perfect pass. But it is a best three of five set final. Perfectly timed lob from Mejir. The guy has tremendous touch. You know, he really has control of the tennis ball. He went up there. He had a choice of trying to roll it cross court. He could have dropped it down the line low. Instead, he chooses to go over the top. He holds the racket nicely. John's not sure where it's going to go. And look at this well-placed offensive lob. This could be a big confidence builder for McEnroe if he can get on the board here. Gets the crowd with him. Shook out two great points. Oh, look at this. How often do you see John McEnroe ask for a little help in the crowd and receive it? He has not been a crowd favorite in too many situations. <laughs> Mitch has got to be careful here. Here's the last point. This is the first game that McEnroe has won. And watch his reaction. Oh! Well, you know, he has successfully, I believe, successfully relaxed himself here with this whole little episode. But uh, you look at Machia's face. Machia's well aware that this is danger time for himself. He has to play some very tight points here or... That was bad luck for McEnroe. He had a good forehand coming down that line. Might have been a winner, but if not, it'd been tough to volley. Here's Machir. Now watch this approach. That one right there might have gotten past Machir. Now he's got a sitter. 